<laughs> I should put music to that. There probably was music playing, huh? That's how good future Luke is. He knows what past Luke needed. He made it better. Thanks, future Luke. So, what's it like to live with tinnitus? It sucks. I woke up this morning and the first thing I noticed was that my ears are ringing. Great. That's, uh, it's not a reason to cancel your whole great day. It's not a, a reason to give up and feel terrible the rest of the day, but it's something you notice when you wake up and the first sound you hear is just constantly. <sighs> Tinnitus is a ringing in the ears. Some people report it as a roaring, a whooshing, a sound of an engine, a what have you. I get the wonderful high-pitched mosquito sound. That's my brand of it. And you learn how to how to ignore it. You learn different breathing meditations to to really muffle and silence it. Um, I don't know how else to describe that. You, it's constant noise. There's no such thing as silence. There's always just this slight scream in the background. Now that that sounds a little insane <laughs> to me. Like if I, if when I hear those words, I'm like, Ugh, someone's constantly screaming in your head. No, no, no. It's not voices. It's not a literal scream. It's a high pitched beep. Is the wrong word. Like a, a tone. Like uh, remember, message machines are like leave the beep after or leave the message after the beep and it's like beep now just imagine that beep never ended it's just constantly going that gives you an idea of what i live with and possibly what others live with uh who experience tinnitus on a regular basis it's not the most pleasant it can be really funny i know that, that might sound weird but in interpersonal relations um uh, you'll be having a conversation with someone and you just will not hear what they're saying. Not not because you don't hear it, but because you mix up the words. This is especially true when there's white noise. Like, uh, say the fiance is washing dishes and I'm distracting her and <laughs> we're having a conversation about something. If the water is running while we're trying to talk, good luck, Luke's ears, trying to make out those words. It's That's not going to work. But, uh, on the other hand, white noise when trying to sleep, kind of helpful. I like sleeping with a fan. It's nice for any noise because right now I'm in an apartment, right? So people above you are walking, uh, people in, in other rooms might be making noise. Who knows, right? So set up a fan, that helps with it. And that can help with your ears as well. Um, sometimes I'll catch my brain making up music. So I notice this when I'm either trying to fall asleep or waking up, I'll have a song stuck in my head that, that doesn't exist, a song I haven't heard. And it's kind of based around whatever beeping, ringing I'm hearing in my ears. That's wonderful. I'm so glad that my brain is creative. I'm, I'm really grateful for that. But at the same time, I'm trying to fall asleep. And it's kind of like a toddler at a drum set. Yeah, we got this beep going. Okay, okay, let's bring in vocals. Yeah, and I'm like, no, that's no vocals. Sleep time. <laughs> so I, in the past, I've cried about this. In the past, there's moments where I've I've literally broken down and I just cry because it's it's frustrating and scary. What if it got so loud that that's the only thing I could hear? What if my ears were removed for whatever reason and the ringing was still there. What, what would I do if it got louder? What, like, <laughs> stop it. Like, what would you do? Uh, it's, it's scary. And when you're done crying, it's still there. You've released whatever stress that you had over it. But like some kind of torturer <laughs> stands over you and goes, are you done? Are you done crying? Okay, back at it. Let's go. And <laughs> that didn't fix anything. Do you feel better? 
you do feel a little better. If you if you have tinnitus and you need to cry, cry. Let it out. Um, let's see. What else? What else is it like to live with tinnitus? It doesn't really bug you in your day-to-day -day life because, especially in a city, there's lots of noise. There's a lot of noise. So it's covered up most of the time. And uh, there's no silence ever. You, you have white noise silence. So if you're near like a fan or some kind of engine or motor or... Um, I really like relaxing guided meditation music. Like, this is a cleansing one hour meditation. And you, you know, it's got like a harp in the background and stuff. I like that kind of stuff. That's, uh, that's pleasant, but, but there's no silence ever. When, when reality is its most calm, it's actually at its most chaotic, not the right word. Uh, it, it's most loud. <laughs> because everything quiets down and then inside your head is <laughs> it becomes more apparent that sucks it's like a, a silence um, like a parabola curve <laughs> sound goes down and goes right back up because so yeah not not a big fan of of being someone who has tinnitus but what am I going to do? You go to a doctor and doctors have recommended all kinds of things. Um, the most common thing doctors recommend has been to clean my ears. Okay. Uh, one of them, we did like a hot water rinse and the ringing remains. Uh, I've had chiropractors look at me and we've, we've like popped my back and stuff. Like maybe it's a, a vertebrae out of line. Maybe it's like a pinched nerve, maybe something, uh, hang from a pull-up bar regularly, which is great for your shoulders. Do that daily. Um, no fix with the ears. Try different diet pr approaches. Uh, nope. Now given I haven't stuck to one particular diet for more than like two months. So maybe, maybe, uh, but it hasn't done anything. When I drink lots of caffeine, sometimes it can get louder, more intense. Alcohol has the same effect. Lack of sleep. Like if I if I pull an all-nighter, my head's ringing. Literally. Uh, not pleasant. Um, yeah, the wife and I are going to try... Fiance, wife... What it, sorry, I'm inconsistent in the video. I, um... We're going to try a uh, water fast in the very near future, and we're really excited for that. That's something we're, we're going to do together for a multitude of reasons, which we'll release in a later video. But uh, I'm wondering if that will have any effect at all. Um, we'll see. Maybe. I'm at a lot. I'm, I'm in a place where I'm, I'm at peace with what I go through. I'm not bothered by it anymore. It's just part of who I am. I have eyebrows, I've got blue eyes, and my ears ring. Okay. And when you're talking to someone, you mix up a word, you say, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. <laughs> it's real easy. <laughs> Will you please repeat it? If they have to do that three or four times, you laugh, you tell them, clearly my ears are broken, I'm going to go over here <laughs> and cry. No, you're fine. Um, every guru has some kind of answer. If someone's life was changed by veganism, they're like, you need to go on a vegan diet. If you run into that person who loves yoga, they're like, yoga will fix your ears. Just put your neck behind your armpit and ears will stop ringing. That didn't work either, by the way. I can remove my head, put it under there. That didn't work. Um, the only thing that really has worked is just to train my mind to ignore it. Just breathe. Use uh, different visualization techniques to lower the volume. To, as, as silly as this might sound, you visualize yourself without ringing ears. There's other things you can visualize to, to lower the volume, but just imagine a time in the near future, maybe it's five minutes from now, maybe it's a week from now, where your ears don't ring. They just don't. That can be helpful. Looking at a note right now. Did I miss anything I wanted to talk about? No. 
It can be really annoying to live with this. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Um, oh, how do I think I got it? Um, that's a great question. I think the main culprit is, is uh, firearms without ear protection. That, I think, is the main culprit. Um, I've been punched in the head a handful of times. <laughs> I'm not too happy about that. Uh, I, I doubt it's that, though. I bet it's an ear issue. I bet it was really loud noises, really suddenly, with no ear protection. People report this all the time with uh, people who, who attend clubs and concerts without ear protection. People who have been in war and they don't have earplugs. So I'm guessing that's what caused it. Either that or I'm so high strung. <sighs> Take care of yourself. Use earplugs. If you have this, what, uh, what do you use? What do you pursue to help relieve these issues in your life? Because uh, it can be very unpleasant at times. What have you done to learn to live with this kind of situation? And hopefully your journey is as peaceful <laughs> and, and your ears are as merciful as possible to you. <laughs> mm. I think that's all I got. Thank you for listening. You have a great day. And if I may.